and welcome back to the NZ Gaming channel. Now in the previous video I mentioned that I was going to do this video because I was a bit late in getting that video up. So this video is a response video to uh, Random Gaming who's a YouTuber that's just done, um, uh, who did a video in on the 10th, he uploaded it, uh, and it's titled the $2,000 high-end gaming PC from 2006. Can it still play games 10 years later? Well, no, it couldn't. It wouldn't. It would be held back by an, a, a number of things. Um, the hardware that he listed um, was an in -core, Intel Core 2 Duo 8 uh, E6700 dual core and it was running at 2.66 gigahertz uh, N468 uh, 680i socket so it's a 775 socket uh, thing EVGA motherboard 2 gig of DDR2 memory uh, at 800 megahertz a 8800 GTX um, graphics card a, and 500 gig SATA hard drive now and then he tested some modern titles. Now, the problem I have with this is that uh, no, basically the video is down below. The problem I have with this is that um, no one, no PC gamer I know would spend $2,000 on a system and then leave it that way for 10 years. It, it's not going to happen. It, it just won't. I mean, hell, my five-year-old system isn't what it was when I put it together five years ago when I put it together five years ago it had a, a one terabyte um, Western Digital Black and a 60 gig uh, OCZ Vertex 3 um, solid state drive uh, and had twin 5870 cards in it it's not what it is today it now has um, Still has those two hard drives in it, but now it has an R9 280 and it has um, two two terabyte green hard drives added as well for extra storage for videos and music and they're my primary straight storage. So I put photos and everything on those drives. I don't put the programs and everything go on the other two drives. Um, even the setup. I mean, now, you know, I don't run Windows 7 I run. I was running Windows Seven then. I'm now running Windows Ten. Um, the so the the hard the hard drives aren't in the configuration that they were before. It was I was running uh, Intel Smart Response technology, so I was using the sixty gig SSD as a cache drive. The one terabyte had everything on it, and everything was caching to the the sixty gig SSD. Now the sixty gig SSD is actually a um, just an OS drive. So, and that's in five years. So, a $2,000 high-end gaming PC, which, which is really funny because he says $2,000. I actually suspect it's £2,000. <clears> but the issue I take with it is that he's done that and it's actually wrong. Um, not so much that the video is wrong, just how he's gone about it and that he's stated this is what it was 10 years ago. Yeah, it was what it was 10 years ago. It would have been like that on the day it was bought and the day it was put together, and that's fine. That's all good. But you have to extrapolate certain things from that. Ten years, over ten years, that system would not be in that configuration anymore. Um, basically, the graphics card quite possibly would have ended up being changed out for something like a 560 Ti, GTX 560 Ti, or a AM, you know, an ATI 6870. That processor quite possibly even would have been changed out to a to for somebody like me if I was doing it I would have changed that out to a Intel Core 2 uh, Q9550 so which is a quad core uh, and and runs uh, I think when I looked up the specs it was at 2.8 gigahertz but can be overclocked the multiplier is not unlocked but you could actually do it by the um, front side, uh, the FSB. So you, and I've seen um, people overclocking those up to 4.2 gigahertz. So, you know, the the way it was done just wasn't, 
correct as far as I'm concerned. No PC, no PC after 10 years would be running what it was running 10 years ago. No gaming PC would be. Um, they have to be upgraded. They have to be, you know, for it to remain competitive, it would have needed that upgrade. Um, it, it just wouldn't have, I mean, that's the problem. It said, does it run modern games? Well, had you actually been running hardware that it would have actually been running after 10 years, not 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yeah. No, like, the fact that it was running uh, Far Cry 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, CSGO, and Metro Last Light, it was actually doing pretty well for 10-year-old kit. Most, most of those titles were averaging around about 30 frames. I mean, which is fantastic for what it was. I mean, the... the <laughs> I mean, the memory on the 8800 GTX was uh, 768 megabytes of DDR3, or GDDR3, the same memory that is in an Xbox One. The, you know, the 2 gig of memory, the 2 gig of DDR2 memory wouldn't be 2, 2 gig after 10 years. It would have been 4, if not 8. Like, that's the difference. So, so random game gaming... Dude, I appreciate the fact that you've done that, but you've done it not quite... You haven't actually done it correctly as far as I'm concerned. No system would be running 10-year-old hardware. They, the, the graph, the, probably the, the only thing that would still be original would more than likely be the power supply and the motherboard. That would be it. And maybe the, hard, uh, the cd drive if it's lasted 10 years even the hard drive which was a western digital 500 gig sata hard drive would have been possibly uh either turfed or a second 500 gig would have been added and quite possibly a solid state on top so you know nearing the end of its life to give it that much more performance again you know a two a, i can understand somebody maybe doing I mean, so this is what I have the issue with. It's a $2,000 high-end gaming PC from 2006 running parts from 2006, which it would not be running today. So, yes, it wouldn't be running modern titles, but you can bet your bottom dollar that it's quite possible, even in the 2016, that it would not be running a card from six years ago the graphics card itself is quite possibly going to be a 600 series or even a, a 7000 series ATI the way that this was done was kind of right but wrong in the same time so I'm not going to call him out being an idiot because it's not it the guy is very intelligent he's gone through and he's done his research on what a high end system from back then would have been but the problem is a high-end system from back then would not be in the configuration that it would be today like as i said my system's five years old it's not running the same configuration that it was running it's not running the same gpu setup it was running five years ago it's not running the same hard drive setup that it was running it's not even set the hard drive configuration the way i had it set up is not the way it was five years ago so what I'm trying to get at here is that a $2,000, so I'm going to read off my little notes here, a $2,000 gaming, high-end gaming PC from 2006, if it was me, would not be running an Intel Core 2 Duo E6700. It would be running quite possibly a quad-core, run and clocked at 3 gigahertz. Uh, if not overclocked to 3.6 or something like that, it would have been, I would have upped the clock on it. Um... The motherboard would be the same. The RAM would not be 2 gig. Just wouldn't. I'd have... In fact, it wouldn't have... You know, back in 2006, I actually had a system of similar specification. And I even then, that system wasn't running 2 gig. That was running 4. But I digress. Uh, it would not be running 2 gig of DDR2 in 2016. It would be running probably 8 uh, it would definitely not be running an 8800 GTX in 2016. It would be running 
for me, it would be running probably a 6870, if not a um, a 7000 series ATI or a 600 series, 6 or 700 series NVIDIA. Um, the hard drive wouldn't be 500 gig. I would have actually probably taken that out, removed that long ago, and a one terabyte black would have been in there, and a, a solid state drive would be in there to boost um, boot performance, and it would probably have... Uh, extra hard drive in there for storage so you know that's what I'm getting at the system that is listed in 2006 would not be the system that would be utilized in 2016 it just wouldn't I mean the, the system I've got my system has got another two three years on it before I even consider doing an upgrade on on stuff so um, so Random Gaming, if you actually see this video, um, it was a great video, very well done, very well researched. The problem is that you re you, you missed a, a very large point, and that is the system from 2006 would not be the system in 2016. It just it would not be the same system. It, if it, it would be different configuration from what you put together in 2016 to what it you know it's a completely different configuration there's 10 years in there there's 10 years of upgrading that you've missed on there's 10 years in there that's just not quite right so it would still be a 2006 system it would still be a system built in 2006 hell the uh q9550 was a 2007 processor i believe 2000 it was either released 2007 or 2008 i can't quite remember what the research was on that but it would be in that system by now it, if the person was working within a budget on and, and decided yeah i'm gonna throw the dual core e6700 e in there on now in 2000 say possibly in 2010 the guy decided okay well i'm gonna uh, the process is holding things back i'm gonna put a new car uh, gpu in there i need to put a better uh, a more powerful processor in there the that's what needed to be done it should have been this is what the spec would have been in 2000 this is what the spec we were more than likely the spec that it would be running in 2016 with 10 years worth of uh possible upgrades thrown at it and that's how it should have been done not saying oh does it work 10 years later of course not if you left it in that spec hell as i said five years five years for my pro my my system here and it's not the same as it was five years ago it's been upgraded it's had upgrades in that five years admittedly only two two major ones had the gpu changed out and it's actually had the memory doubled it's gone from 8 to 16 it's now running 16 gig of ddr3 in there you know it, it as i said the video like you guys go down and have a check out the video the video is great it, very well done just kind of misses the point that a system from 10 years ago would not be the system that you are presented with in 2016 it would be still a 10 year old system it would still be running bulk of it 10 year old parts but it would not be in the configuration that it was 10 years ago so yeah I've been the Anzac Gamer, also known as Angel 85 if you like this video, buy that like button a beer, if you didn't, hit just yeah, slap that dislike button. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see all you Anzacs in the next video.